Assalamu alaikum. So few people know about the reality of what Islam is. Be reading about our Prophet Rasulullah so that we can understand our own religion. Today we're going to discuss our Prophet's first wahi. When our Prophet was 40 years old, on the day of Ramadan, he went again to the cave on Mount Hira and started Tafukah. That is contemplation. It was the seventeenth day of Ramadan, Monday night. After midnight, he heard a voice calling his name. When he raised his head and looked around, he heard again the same voice and saw that a neural radiance suddenly covered everywhere. It was Jabal alayhi wa salam, the archangel. They came and said, Read! And our master said, I am not literate. After this reply, the angel had tightly held our prophet till he became weak, and then said, Read. Our prophet said again, I am not literate. Then the angel tightly held him again and said, Read. When our prophet said, I am not literate, the angel tightly held him for the third time. Then he left our prophet and brought the first five ayats, the verses of al aqsura purporting, O oh, Muhammad, read, in the name of your Lord, Allah Ta'ala, who created everything. He created man, man out of mere blood clot, concealed blood, Allah. Read, your Lord, Allah Ta'ala, is most bountiful. He taught with the use of the pen, taught men which he knows not. And Muhammad, alayhi wa salam, recited with him. The first verse had been revealed as so, and thus the sun of Islam, which enlightens the entire universe, rose. With a great anxiety and excitement, our master, the Prophet, Rasulullah went out of the cave on Mount Hira and started descending. When he came to the middle of the mountain, he heard a voice. Jibril Rehuasanam said to him, O Muhammad, you are the messenger of Allah Ta'ala. And I am Gabriel. Then he struck his heel on the ground. A spring came out where he struck his heel. He started making a ritual ablution. Our master, the prophet, was watching him carefully. When Jabal alayhi wa salam finished his ablution, he told our master, the prophet, to perform a ritual ablution as he saw. After our master, the prophet, finished his ablution, Jabal alayhi wa salam, became imam. When Muslims perform namaz, the ritual prayer in congregation, called jamaat, one of them leads this jamaat and conducts the namaz. He is called the imam. And they made a prayer of two rakats. After this, Jabal alayhi wa salam said, O Muhammad, your Rabb has sent you his greetings. He continued by saying, He said, You are my messenger to jinns, genies, and human beings. Therefore, invite them to believe in the Tawhid, the oneness, unity of Allah Ta'ala. Then he ascended to the sky. Thus, our beloved Prophet had both seen and spoke with Jabal alayhi wa salam. Our master, the Prophet, heard every stone, tree near which he passed saying to him, As-salamu alaykum, ya Rasulullah, until he arrived at his home of bliss. When he entered his house, he said, Cover me, cover me, and he had taken a rest until his anxiety calmed down. Then he told our mother, Hadrat Hatija, what he had seen and said, Jabal alayhi wa salam has disappeared yet, and yet I have seen him as if I am seen now, strength and fear of him are all over me. I was afraid of being called as mad and blackened by the people. 
Hadrat Hatijah, who was ready and had been waiting for these circumstances and these days, said, May Allah Ta'ala protect you. Haq Ta'ala grants you blessings, and he wills nothing except blessings for you. For the sake of Allah Ta'ala, I believe that you will be the prophet of this ummah, this community. Because you, like guests, you tell the truth, and you are trustworthy. You help the weak, protect orphans, and favor the needy. You are good-mannered. The owner of these traits is fearless. Then, to ask about this situation, they went to Waraka bin Nawfal. Waraka, after listening to what our master, Rasulullah told him, said, O Muhammad, السلام, I swear by Allah Ta'ala that you are the last prophet whom Hadrat Isa, Jesus, announced. The angel who was seen by you is Jabul alayhi wa salam, who came to Musa alayhi wa salam, before you. Oh, I wish I were young now and reach the time when they will expel you from Mecca so I could help you. Very soon you will be ordered to communicate the religion and to make the holy war. And he kissed the blessed hand of our master, the prophet. He died not much later than this meeting. Alaikum Salam.